All right, this is my third time trying to record this video because there is a lot to cover and I want to make sure I get it right. So, welcome to the video where I finally talk about my diet and the changes that I have made. I'd like to start off by saying that I am not claiming to have found the cure for cancer, nor am I saying that this diet will stop you from getting cancer. But will it reduce your risk? Absolutely. Because of this, your body is going to be in a massively different place than perhaps it is now. And I would really encourage everyone to make these changes, whether you are a cancer patient or not. And also, what works for some people will not work for others. You might try something that you found has benefited you massively that might not work so well for me. So it's important to experiment with these different things and just get the general idea of it and then you can implement it as you see fit. Lastly, we are not cutting things out of the diet here. We are swapping them with better alternatives and in many cases adding things to the diet. Okay, so without any further ado, let's ado the explanation. So, it all starts a few months ago when I had my relapse, my leukemia came back and we decided some changes need to be made because clearly, you know, we did everything the doctor said and I still got cancer. So now we're thinking we need to do something about it and that something was to get in contact with a specialized cancer nutritionist who put us on the path of this diet and started to explain to us all the changes that need to be made. The first sort of rule that I'm following is a big one for me, and that is to pretty much eliminate any sugar that I don't need in my diet. So now the only sort of sugar that I'll have in my diet comes from uh, fruit, maybe a squeeze of organic honey in something, agave syrup is also good. Secondly, try to use wholemeal alternatives whenever you can. Talking about things like white bread, white rice, white pasta. There is always brown wholemeal versions of those things. Try to keep an eye out for them. Pick those up instead and then you won't be tempted. I have swapped out cow's milk for alternatives like coconut milk, oat milk, almond milk. Just other non-dairy variants like that. Not really much difference in taste, and I've started just not having milk in my tea either, or sugar, just black, just black tea. And it's not like I'm not getting as much calcium now either, because you get calcium from leafy greens, beans, lentils, things like that. Now, meat, those that know me know that I do love my meat, so I've had to say goodbye to pork or at least as much as I was eating it before, you know. I would have happily just had a bacon sandwich every day if I could. No more of that. Now I'm only having organic chicken, any sort of fish, and very rarely red meat, as long as it's good quality. Also like game meat is good as well, venison and the like. Also lamb, lamb is good as well. Couple that with a wide variety of vegetables, different colours and stuff. It's all about eating the rainbow, as they say. And if you can, try to make it organic veg as well. Uh, free from things like chemicals and pesticides. That's really what we're trying to avoid here. Same with the meat. And lastly, just drink lots of water. Simple as that. You want to be aiming for like three liters a day, something like that. And you really will feel the benefits of that massively. Now, I know you're feeling, Taylor, this all sounds good on paper, but what I would really like is to see perhaps a video of you making a smoothie using all of these healthy ingredients. Well, lucky you, I've done just that. Please enjoy. So today we're gonna to be making a smoothie. Uh, we have lots of ingredients here, as you can see. Spinach kale, oat milk or any other sort of milk alternative, 
This is a organic blend of different greens, hemp, protein, uh, wheatgrass, barley grass, pineapple, chlorella and spirulina, which is what we've got here. Goji berries, some fresh strawberries, all uh, washed and ready. Mango slices, linseeds, chia seeds, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, and a variety of nuts. So we're just going to start by cutting up an avocado. A uh, nice big slice of mango. Handful of strawberries. Okay. And we're going to take a handful of frozen spinach. This will help to uh, keep the drink cold. Sesame seeds. Chia seeds. Lin seeds, pumpkin seeds, some dried goji berries, and this organic blend, which already has the spirulina in it, and we'll just get a spoonful of that. A couple of nuts. And some oat milk. All right, and then we'll blend this up. We're going to be using a Nutribullet for this. Super simple, easy to use. Just whack on the uh, the blade on top like that. Pop it on there. So we've just blended that for about twenty seconds. Just going to pour that over some ice. Obviously those that are neutropenic, you should probably make your own ice with uh, boiled water. And that is going to be delicious on a hot day like today. I don't have it all around my mouth, do I? No. Cheers. So I hope you find that instructional video helpful. And uh, you're free to adapt your own ingredients to that recipe as you see fit but that's just a good example for you there of a healthy smoothie there is uh, a couple of things getting into the end of the video now that I'd just like to cover first of which being uh, I recently made a little bit of an investment into a new water bottle here it is it is produced by a company called Chili's as you can see there by the uh, the chili and I think it is appropriate to give a bit of a shout out because these bottles are amazing not even sponsored this is just my opinion but you know you could fill this up before bed go to sleep it's still ice cold in the morning you know these things are insulated and whatnot not to mention uh, completely customizable the whole body and the lid and you can even have something engraved into it if you want which is what I did and uh, I very logically had the quantity engraved in 750 mil so that I'll never forget of course you don't have to get them in that size as a smaller 500 one and a 250 and a really big one and a half liter bottle but yeah shout out to Chili's great product especially if you're finding yourself in hospital or something for a large amount of time makes it way easier to drink water if it's cold Second shout out is to a friend of ours, a chap called Damo. Uh, I may or may not have mentioned him in a previous video, cannot remember. However, he was and has now completed a 100 kilometer run in Brighton uh, to raise money for charity. So, very well done Damo, proud of you. And sorry I couldn't be there as well. However, there will be a link in the description to Demo's uh, 
charity page and to the Chile's website as well if you wanted to check those out. That's all I got. We're done.